it's an interesting phenomenon that people who tend to dislike cleaning the most tend to buy the poorest quality cleaning equipment and then wonder why they hate cleaning so much. It's kind of like one of those circular things. It just keeps going round and round and gets worse. I'm Lisa from Active Domestics and today I want to specifically focus on mops and mop buckets and talk to you about why it's so important to invest in good quality mops and mop buckets and also what can go wrong if you buy things that are of really poor quality. Let's start with talking about the bucket. Now a good quality bucket is really, really important. Number one, you want to have a very strong, sturdy and reliable handle. I don't know whether you've ever gone to pick up a bucket and then the handle is given away and you've tipped water over the floor. But that can be terrible, take a long time to clean and it could actually do damage to the floors or to some furniture. You don't want that. So, you know, a good quality bucket is going to last a long time. So whilst this, this bucket in Australia um, costs around $50 or even possibly $60, it is worth it because it will last me for years. And that's what I want when I'm buying anything is to think long term with what I'm buying. Um, so I'm not wasting money over that period of time by rebuying the same crappy products over and over again. Now, the other good thing about this bucket is it's got wheels here. Now the wheels, of course, make it a lot easier to um, move around on the floor. That's great, but that's not the only benefit of those wheels. Having those wheels and that space there means that none of that hot water from inside the bucket is making contact with the ground. And that means that you're not going to leave any heat marks anywhere on the floor. When I had my cleaning agency, I had a cleaner who actually filled a very cheap, thin plastic bucket with very hot water and she left it on wooden floors. And when she went to um, move the bucket, had noticed it had left a white ring on the floors. That didn't just go away. Thankfully, the client was able to get rid of those marks because he had some French polishing skills and materials. And, and so he was able to deal to that. But it was a very stressful situation and completely avoidable with the right products and the right good quality equipment. But here's a tip, you do actually have to check these wheels from time to time, make sure there's no small stones or anything in them. And, and you know, just be careful about where you take it and where you use it. Um, and I even wipe the wheels from time to time because sometimes the wheels can get a bit grotty and leave a little bit of a track mark um, if you don't clean them. Another thing about a good quality bucket is that you're going to be able to squeeze out the water a lot more. Let me show you. It doesn't have any water in this, obviously, but you'll be able to get a much stronger, better squeeze when you are using a better quality bucket. Now that's important, right? That's one of the most key aspects of a cleaning bucket is to be able to carry the water, transport the water, and to squeeze it out. The sturdiness of the bucket also means that when you are squeezing out that water, you don't have any fears that the bucket is going to tip. Because I've used some buckets in my past where that was an issue, and that was a really stressful um, tool to be using because it wasn't reliable. These are all qualities that go into making up a really good mop bucket. And so it's much better to spend your money on something that's going to serve you well and do a really good job and actually make your cleaning more effective and efficient and hopefully more enjoyable. Now mops aren't all the same either. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that these are my two favourite mops right here. Um, and I can tell you about some of the reasons why I prefer them. Mops have got two parts, it's the head and also the pole, and both are equally important. If one of those things aren't working to the optimum, then that's going to affect how you're going to be cleaning. The reason I love this mop, of course, is because it has a very wide head. I can use it for so many different places. You've seen me using this mop. I clean walls, I've cleaned showers, I've cleaned my car. 
I cleaned um, ceilings, all sorts of things with this mop. And it's the same mop that I've had for years. Um, it's just a really good quality one and it's lasted very, very well. This one here is called the Valida Flip Flap Mop. What you notice with different mops is the quality of their poles. Here's a cheap mop that came from Kmart. Now, number one, it's a rusty, sharp hazard. The only reason I've kept this mop basically is to, to use in cleaning videos to demonstrate why you shouldn't buy cheap mops like this. This handle is not particularly strong. All these parts here are very plasticky and not very good. And whilst, obviously, I have used it to mop up some rain off my deck, um, but whilst the microfiber here is, um, it is a microfiber head, it's not a great quality for microfiber. Just like anything else, microfiber comes with different um, qualities. This one here has got a very good microfiber head and it's lasted me many years and many, many cleaning episodes. Um, what you can also see is the length of the poles. So this here is just a standard oats cleaning pole. And here is the size of the one from Kmart. Can you see that's quite a difference in height? This one here has got an extendable cleaning hole, um, cleaning pole. Oh, geez, sorry. And it's also really holds its extension to just where you want it. And of course, that's very important in a cleaning pole. If you buy a cheap extendable cleaning pole, you'll find that after no time at all, it will not maintain the length that you want to maintain it at because it's just got cheap quality components. Um, so the length of the pole is really important to someone who is tall. I'm fairly tall. If you do use a pole that's not a good size for you, you'll be stooping while you're cleaning and that will not be good for your back and that'll make you suffer and hate cleaning more. As for these types of mops, I despise these types of mops. Once again, I only bought this as an experiment to use in cleaning videos with a small amount of hope that my kids would also use it to mop up the water in the floor that they leave in the shower. But anyway, that didn't actually happen very well. But you can see, I mean, even though this is barely being used, how those sponge bits remain dirty and wet and, and they scrunch right down, they don't hold their shape, you've got to replace them all the time, they're quite difficult to put in and replace. Total waste of your time. And the other thing is, is when you're cleaning, you've only got such a small surface area to clean with. I can't actually think of anywhere that these sorts of mops would be more useful than any other mop. I just think they're quite a waste of space, actually. When I am buying mops, I usually also buy a couple of different mop heads as well, so that when I'm having one of those days where I'm getting a lot of cleaning done, I can just swap over the mop head to a clean one. Number one, that way I'm not wiping around dirt whilst I'm trying to clean. And number two, I can just keep cleaning and cleaning and or put them straight into the washing machine and just clean them on a, on a gentle cycle, one that doesn't spin too hard because you, you don't want sort of heavy, uneven things spinning around really quickly in your, um, might not be good for your washing machine. But just, yeah, reduce the spin, pop them in your washing machine and then most importantly, leave them out in the sun so that they can dry properly and they will be naturally sterilized by the sun and they will last a long time. So I hope I've convinced you to only think about buying really good quality mops and cleaning buckets and I'm sure you'll be thankful that you did. Have a great day.